Hello there. Well, one of the great things about living in Thailand is when you actually start to integrate with the community. It's when you actually start to think of yourself as an expat as opposed to just a long-stay tourist. Now, one group of guys who've done this for many, many years are, of course, the Jester's Care for Kids. Actually, they started off as a motorbike gang, if you like, or a motorbike club, and they started helping the local community. Over the years, in fact, now I think they've had 13 charity drives, and they get corporate sponsors from major companies across the eastern seaboard and beyond. Every year they have their uh, a big event at Diana Garden, which is the Children's Day, and also the party night, which is normally held at Jameson's Pub. Again, these are auction nights. Let's take a look at those from 2010, and then we'll come back and tell you why we're here today. As you can see, the children and the teachers here at Banapur School have done a great job in welcoming the Jester's Care for Kids and it's my job as well to welcome our old friend Woody Underwood. Woody, how are you? Great, Paul. Good. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Listen, this is, as always, it's good to see you. 
I'm, every time when we when we come to these things, I have to say, it always really touches my heart. You know, these those kids on stage there. I, it's I, just. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. It's just, it's so uh, so good to see the kids perform like that. I mean, and they love it doing it, and uh, it just it <laughs> was, touches it was, your heart. It was so cute. You know, before yeah. they went on stage, and they're 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 just sitting beside us, and they're kind of giving all the, right, right. the oh, <laughs> it's lovely. Okay, great stuff. So, but why are we here? What's mm. it all about? Well, we're here today to uh, uh, Christian the uh, kindergarten we built here. Uh, again, with Kuhn Bick and uh, a lot of help from Bernie. Boy, he's he's a godsend for Jester's Care for Kids. Okay. Bernie hey. Tuppen, right? Uh, Bernie Tuppen, yeah, Bernie Tuppen. And uh, you know, here we are, at Poor Primary School. You know, uh, it was Paul Crouch from the Regent School who actually alerted us to this need okay. here. You know, they do a lot of good uh, community work through their round square uh, ideals and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And so we, uh, he told us about it, we came to look at it, and then we got uh, Kuhn Bick on board and got the quote and the contractor and whatnot. Okay, okay. So now yeah. the, the building that is directly behind us in this uh, rather shocking pink color. Pink, pink. We didn't pick the color. Okay, all right. But it's a kindergarten. It's a kindergarten. Yeah, they, they, okay. they didn't have a kindergarten before. They have a classroom space for the primary students, but no. No, okay. Anuban. No okay, and the Anuban, actually, that's the, the, the children, Anuban is the, the kindergarten, that's the, the kids that we've seen performing at exactly. the very beginning, right? So the very, very kids, yeah. I guess they're about three, four maybe, right? Yeah, I think they're, yeah, they're under five, I believe. It's, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Um, do you know how many children there are at that age group here? Uh, it's 30 something right now. We'll have to ask okay. the, uh, the okay. teacher. But, uh, right. yeah. So obviously there's a need. So it's a primary school and a kindergarten, but they didn't have a, they didn't have a dedicated, dedicated space. Dedicated, exactly, okay, for space right. for a kindergarten. Okay, so basically you've built this. this there wasn't anything here before There was nothing then? here at all. Yeah, okay. this, all right. uh, so we did a new construction uh -huh. and uh, all they really wanted was a kindergarten. And uh, it was our idea to add the toilets inside. Okay. We've done that before at previous schools, especially okay. for kindergartens and little ones. It's yep. nice to have toilets right there. Yeah, because when they got to go, they got to go. go. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. okay. Now, in addition to that, and uh, again, this is a, a constant with uh, the Justice Care for Kids. You've also renovated some other uh, toilets here, haven't you? Yes, there's some toilets that were built by Chevron uh, a few years back, but they were kind of uh, become derelict and so forth. They weren't okay. being used, okay. and so uh, they wanted us to build toilets here as well. But there's no space right now. The government's building another classroom right now. So there's no space to build that toilet right now. Okay. So we figured, well, they're not using this one. Let's renovate this. Okay. And uh, so now they have four oper operating toilets. Mm -hmm. You got a urinal in the back there. Okay. Uh, a shade, an extension canopy from the roof. Like yeah, a canopy over it. And then an ablution. Uh, okay place to wash your hands and, and brush your teeth as well. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. And, and the brushing the teeth is an important thing as well. It's an important thing. It's yeah. Well, they were using I, I forgot the kind of water they were using here, but now they have a better quality water to okay. to do that. Now, I, I, actually, I've been down here before because also, I mean, you mentioned Chevron and Regents, but the Hard Rock they did some work here a couple of years ago where they built toilets, but it's at the other sort the of other, side, other right? end, and actually, yeah. very beautiful, a beautiful job they did there, mm. and uh, those are the toilets that they use right now. Okay. But of course, you know, we have a building here. Mm -hmm. And then those toilets are way over there, closer to that other building. Okay. So it's it's nice to have these other f extra four now. Sure, sure. Okay. In the urinals, yeah. Now, Woody, this is the first time that we've had a sort of proper catch up, really, since the um, since the party night at, right, uh, right, at Jameson. Right. So, give give us a, a ballpark figure of of how much was raised uh, for the 2010. Uh, okay. The, the whole the whole year. Well, right now we don't have an official total. We, uh, our treasurer and Sutlet Accounting is, is in charge right now. Uh, in cash, we've raised six million two hundred sixty-three million. Wow. Six million two hundred sixty-three thousand. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we've so far have de uh, distributed eighty-three percent of that so far. Okay. And of course, by before April, we'll, that'll be up in the higher ninety percentile as well. Okay. All right. Some background music. Okay. <laughs> Well, they're going to be partying again in there, I guess. Quite right, too. But, you know, I would, uh, before we leave there, well, I mean, we read, we, so six, call it uh, 6.23 million. Yeah. Now, Herod Foundation, which was a, this was a joint venture with them, the, the yeah. building the classroom, uh, they had donated over 700,000 baht wow. this year to Fountain of Life and to other projects and so forth. Okay. And, uh, you know, they've been a very big player mm -hmm. since 2006 when Michael Jones came sure. and actually looked at our projects and so forth. Sure. 
And since 2007, they've taken on a big project every year. You know, we had the Grug Yaicha School in Brayong. Yep. We had the Ban Klong Ban Pai School in uh, Utapau. Right. Uh, Cowboy C yep. last year for the disabled boys and so forth, and this year for the uh, um, Bonampur Kindergarten. Right, okay. So that's really it's a big, sure. really a huge help for us. Yeah, and, I mean, I, and I guess yeah. obviously when when these companies, I mean, I know that last year, you know, everybody was a bit worried because it wasn't a very good economic climate. Right. But if you have right. these companies like the Howard Foundation coming in year after year. That's, that's just, I mean, it's wonderful, isn't it? It is. It really is wonderful. It's, you know, the last three years have been difficult, huh? And, sure. and, uh, but still, uh, we've managed to uh, raise significant money, which we're really Absolutely. grateful for. And, you know, I just heard from Michael as well. I told him, look, we're doing the opening today. Mm -hmm. Sorry you can't be here for that. So he wants to see it, of course, on you, YouTube, yeah. what you're going to do and so yeah. forth. And he goes, oh, by the way, for this year, please look for another worthy project that we can get involved yeah. in. Right. Gotta love it. So the, love so it. the yeah. feelers are out there already, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's a good feeling. I mean, you know, looking for another big project. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So most of the, uh, the money has been allocated. Um, yeah. We should perhaps just mention the Fountain of Life, because this, right. again, has been really, it's your, it's your, it's your core concern, really. It, hasn't it, been it from is. The beginning, it, right? It's a target charity, and uh, it has been since the beginning. Yeah. And we cover uh, the majority of their operational expenses. Yeah. And uh, we're proud to do that. They need it. Yep. Uh, they're still having uh, trouble meeting uh, ends as well. And so uh, we like to give them as much as possible. Because okay. it's good to have one that we can, you know, we can take care of sure. all the time. Sure. We actually have, besides the Fountain of Life, that's the main one by far, but also the School for the Blind, yep. uh, Banjing Jai, and the Chameleon Center are four core beneficiaries that we take care of wow. year after year. Wow. It's a big responsibility, yeah? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, I mean, but, we're, we're, but you know, when you when you think, I mean, these are these this project that we're covering today. That's on top of the the, oh, the right. normal yeah. work, right? Yeah. 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 You know, that's this true. Is, this is the yeah. ad hoc stuff. Yeah, the yeah. other stuff I mean, is you've got to do that all the time. So this year, you know, you <coughs> we'll, we'll, and we'll talk about the children's fair in a moment and such like. But therefore, you, you've got to say, well, okay, we'll do what we can. But effectively, you've got four. Four Babies. commitments. Four, <laughs> four, yeah, you're right. You're four uh, annual uh, commitments. Yeah. But uh, but again, uh, we like enjoying doing that as well. You know, Banjing Jai, we cover the food costs and so forth. So they are always guaranteed that they can have food for all the kids and so wow. forth. Now we've done uh, just started something with the Cowboy C with the for the disabled kids. We give them a, a shot going a shopping spree at Big C yeah. to get uh, so they can buy all the essentials and so forth. Right. And of course, for the Chameleon Center, the the two kids uh, with HIV that are also disabled, we're taking 24/7 okay. care of them as well, right. in conjunction with the Canadian Jackalope Open. Sure. Yeah. Wow. Wow. What a responsibility and what a guy. Okay, so this year's uh, Children's Fair, same venue. Same venue. The Diana's uh, basically says uh, they want to be the venue uh, forever. forever. <laughs> yeah, forever. Yeah. Okay, and definitely. And, and we have a date for that? The date is September 11th. Okay. Yeah. Right, again, the so that's the Sunday, right? Yep. That's a Sunday. That's 10 years of a uh, 10 year anniversary of 9/11. Ah, right. Believe it or not, for Americans. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the the party night is going to be two weeks after the fair. Okay. And give us a little break there, and you know, it makes perfect sense, you know. Sure. After the fair is done and dusted, we need to yep. have a little breather before we get into that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to change the format. We're going to go to a hotel. We're going to have a sit-down dinner and so forth. Have uh, not only auctions but entertainment and so okay. forth. Uh, the magician Howard Posner. Yeah. yeah. Posner. Yeah. Uh, is, wants to help us in. in so okay. forth. So we want to change it. Okay. We actually want to kind of reconfigure both uh, events. Okay. Freshen, freshen them up. It's tricky, isn't it? Because yeah. some people say, oh, you know, don't change it. But, you know, sometimes even if you get it right, there's a reason to change it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And we won't change them too much. Yeah. You know, yeah. just, uh, okay. you'll still be able to recognize the events, okay. as it were. All right. Well, as we've been talking, the website's been on screen. You can you can click on that, find out more about the work that Woody's done, actually, and also on the Patia Mail YouTube. There are numerous uh, links there that we've covered over the years, including the, the wonderful um, feature that Mike Franklin did, our dear departed friend, uh, which was a day at the Fountain of Life, where he basically caught in the van and went out to pick up the kids in the morning and spent the day with them to show what it is they actually do. So when we were talking about it earlier, if you're wondering what it's all about, just click on the link. Okay, let's now go and speak to the uh, director of the school to see what this means to her, this change that uh, the Jester's Care for Kids has done for the Bannonpour Primary School. Woody, thanks very much. Thank you, Paul. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, um, the festivities are still continuing here at Banampur Primary School, but I've managed to drag this young lady away from her lunch. She is the school director, Kun Palicha. How are you? Yes, uh, I'm fine. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> well, it's very nice to see you. And the children, your children, Narak Ma. Oh, thank you very really much. Well, thank you really much. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, this building now, you really need this because before you have nothing. Yes. And Kun Woody, he tell me you have about 30 children, but you actually have more children, more kindergarten, right? How many? Yes, we have 65 kindergarten, but wow. for, for, for this building, about 35 students okay. learn in study in building. Study in here? Yes. Okay. With what, one teacher? One teacher. Okay. And, and now, of course, they have toilet as well. Yes. Oh, Hongnam, no? Yes. We okay. have the toilet inside okay. for kindergarten. Okay. So you're very happy, right? Oh, really happy. So really happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would. <coughs> can I ask you to tell our Thai viewers about uh, what what has happened today and about why you need this building and about your school, please? Oh, we don't have any building. We. Sure. Uh, mm. the building yeah. is really old. Very old. <laughs> now the students don't have any room, any building okay. for study. Sure. All students study in the one building. In one building. In so now, building. You, now you have the special one. Okay. Yes. So can, can you speak in Thai now and tell our viewers in Thai? Yes. Please. Can you tell them? Ka. คือโรงเรียนของเรานะคะมีมาก่อนเรามีอาคารที่เก่ามากเลยสองอาคารอายุ <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Ha. You know, you're, you speak much faster in Thai. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ha, thank, you thank, you thank you very much. Now, as you can see, the jesters have been going for quite some time, but it's not easy work. How do Farangs work with ties? Not always easy because of the language barrier. Well, this gentleman who is on the Jesters Care for Kids Committee and has been for a number of years, he's really the, the bridge between the, the ties and the Farangs, and he goes out and helps find the projects and makes them happen. This is Kun Bik. Kun Bik, how are you? Yeah, so what do you Nice yeah. to see you again. Nice to see you again too. Okay, so what what is it you actually do with the jesters? Uh, I I be a helper of jester for for learning about the you know government government part Thai. I, I mean the Thai Thai part and uh, okay. jester. Yeah. Okay, so you because with your work you find out about all these projects that need to be done, right? Yes, right. And today is a, as, as yet another example of this, right? Yes, uh, same like this, uh, Banampur School. Yeah, they, they need uh, the building of uh, Anuban. I mean, uh, not enough for, for the children, for the students, yes. Sure. Okay, and there'll be more projects like this this year, I think, will there? Yes, uh, in, this, uh, in this school, they want more about the first year's building for the students. Okay. Never have here before okay. yes and I, b I believe you're also going to be doing work uh, in the in the area with the, the water treatment in the schools as well for this year. yeah yes that that is a uh, piece water water the uh, you know the clean water the green uh, water treatment yeah yeah, for the drinking right, water. Drinking yeah, water. yeah. Can would he say? Or maybe you don't know. No, no, I don't know. Ah, okay, okay. My problem. Okay, okay. Well, I'll start again. Okay. So now I'm going to ask you to speak in Thai. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, Kunbek, we have we have covered many many events about jesters on Patiamil TV. However, 
yeah. nearly every time we speak in English. So what I'd like you to do now is to tell our Thai viewers what the jesters are, who they are, yes. and and what they do, please. Yes, yes thank you very much for a good question. So what you have to tell Pom Ruam Tamgan Gap. Jester had doi me Kun Woody, Mr. Ravis Underwood, Pen Patan. Jester care for kiss pen somosan tea high quam shaler. Cap and pen somosan here quam shaler, cap dig dig, nahap dig dig. Doi shore room rian, Hong Rataban, naked, John Burri, Rachang Wat Rayong, nahap. Hai can shaler dan sang a can rian, sang rong a han, sang Hong Sukha. นะครับหลายๆโรงเรียนที่ที่ผ่านมาที่ผมได้ร่วมทํางานกับคุณวุฒิเนะครับคุณวุฒิเป็นเป็นองค์กรเป็นสโมสรที่มีกลุ่มสมาชิกนะครับจากหลายๆประเทศร่วมกันบริจาคเงินเข้ามาทําให้เกิดประโยชน์แก่นะเด็กในชาติของเรานะครับเจสเตอร์แคร์ฟอร์คิสจะดําเนินโครงการเช่นนี้ต่อไปเรื่อยๆตราบที่มีมีผู้ต้องการประสงค์ต้องการความช่วยเหลือนะครับขอบคุณครับ Okay, thank you very much, Kunbeck. Okay, and as Woody said, the uh, Jester's Kid for Kids, the, the Children's Day, will be on Sunday the 11th of September at the same location. It has been now for 10 years, 10 year anniversary. Uh, it's actually at Diana Garden Resort in North Pattaya. So there you go. We're going to round up here at Bannampur Primary School. My thanks to Woody, to Bernie Tuppin, to the children, the teachers, and of course Kunbeck. Everybody working together for the same aim to help the children of Thailand. This is Paul for PMTV. Bye-bye. See you again. Thank you.